Hello guys and welcome to another video, this is Lyagura's Moments and on this video we're gonna talk about key bindings and meta bindings and what you can do with them on SteelSeries Apex Pro. Let's start! Alright, so key bindings and meta bindings usually are for advanced users as most of the people will never change them. But I'll give you some real examples that you might want to apply as well. And if you're a gamer then definitely knowing how to change your key bindings could help you configure your keys much better. So with the key binding tab on the SteelSeries Apex Pro you can change what each individual key can do. So if you want to configure the spacebar to act like an enter button and the enter button to act like a spacebar, you can do that. One quick tip here is that from the key bindings tab you can deactivate the windows button. I don't know about you but for me it happens very often to press it accidentally when I'm playing. So if you're a gamer you can deactivate it simply by clicking on the button and selecting deactivate. Anyway here you have also the right windows button if you want to use the windows key. One other real example could be if you're left-handed, then the WASD definitely is not working for you. So instead of tweaking the key configuration in every game that you play, better you can change the key binding once, for example you can put the ISKL instead of WASD and save it on a gaming profile. And when you need it, just select the profile and it's ready. Ok, and now meta bindings. The meta bindings allow you to customize any key when pressed with the Steel Series key. Basically, this is a function button that allows you custom key commands to be assigned to any key. You can use this to assign macros, media commands, device commands, etc. etc. Speaking of which, you can also record your own macros just like any other good gaming software. So like using Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste, with meta binding you can set it up similarly and by holding the still series key, the function of the key that you selected will change now. For example, I wanna play and pause videos with the P. I know you can do it with space but this is just for the demonstration. So first we select the P button and we go and select the media buttons and we find the play and pause option and save it. Now by pressing the still series key and the P at the same time, it works like play and pause on our videos. The other interesting feature that both key bindings and meta binding have is that you can configure keys to play once or play a couple times, repeat while pressed, toggle auto repeat and toggle hold, very useful options especially if you need them for gaming. For example, toggle hold, I will need it for the crouch on my FPS games when I want to go undetected or something, you know? Alright guys, I hope now you have a better understanding of what key bindings and meta bindings do on the Steel Series Apex Pro. If you find this video useful, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. And you can check some of my other videos right here.